thought I'd just do a um, bit of a review on this twelve and a half foot Australis Saratoga, 3.8 metres long or twelve and a half feet. I um, might do this video in a couple of parts, so I just want to make it a bit comprehensive because there's not much on the on YouTube about them. So I figured if if someone was wanting to buy one, it's a good idea to have a bit of a look and opinions. Anyway, about me, I'm still a novice paddler. Um, 12 months I've had this kayak. Um, I'm on 5 foot 10. I'm down to 96 kilos. I was 108. So this kayak's rated at 130 capacity. So there's still plenty of leeway and for storage and, and stuff, whatever. But just having a look up the front here, we've got grab handles, your standard kayak grab handles, front and rear. Um, one thing about this kayak, for a 12 and a half foot kayak, it, it's got a an upturned bow, which is I think is pretty fantastic for for wind chop and rougher conditions. You just don't seem to get much spray, which is which is great. Uh, going back, another thing for a for a 12 12 and a half foot kayak, sit inside, you don't get perimeter lines very often. This one's got um, stiff perimeter lines and you've got your modest deck bungee for your typical recreational type kayak now, to me this is sort of, they class as a bay touring kayak and it's probably just about right it's good for lakes and, and rivers and and yeah, I, I personally I wouldn't take it out in the open in open water, and I don't intend to but, um, I do intend on uh, updating the kayak Eventually, probably do a 14, 15 foot kayak, but I'm certainly not going to part with this one. It's just, it's just too good a kayak, in my opinion. It's very handy. I've made a couple of modifications. I've got little paddle clips here that swing up to hold your paddle while you're carrying it and whatnot. It's got a little flat section here for possible compass or a sail or even just a camera mount. I've put these little stainless steel eyelets on here just for me paddle uh, leash and stuff but anyway that's the front of the boat uh, we work our way to the cockpit it's um, approximately 90 centimetres by 50 centimetres wide which is, yeah it's not overly big which is pretty good like it's, it's got a proper kayak size to it the seat is quite comfortable it's not the best in the in the business by no means but, uh, it's comfortable enough. Um, you've got your swing back here that you can adjust forward or back. Um, inside I've made, well, to start we've got the stiffening bar that goes through. That's, that's a good little option. Uh, that comes standard. Now, you can just see the rails down the bottom there. That's the originals. And I've put new foot pegs because I've put an aftermarket rudder on this which I'll show you in part two but as you've got your flotation foam up in the front there's no front hatch in this um, that's the only way I could mount those foot pegs so that the ball on the foot was, was comfortable uh, so if you're looking at this kayak I, I'd definitely recommend a factory rudder but for $310 for me to buy, plus postage was a little bit much, so I went with an aftermarket one. But anyway, that's that's the cockpit. Uh, I've got a little actually, carabiner mounted there for bot drink bottle or camera or whatever you want. Anyway, I'll show you the rest of the boat in part two.